All right, folks, uh, so today we're going to be doing Vex VR. It's like a robots, except they're virtual robots. So it's um, it's the closest thing I can find. It's actually the same brand as what we use in class, but it is different for what we'll be doing. But um, just Google Vex VR like this right here. Just type in Vex VR, V-E-X space VR. Then uh, the very first link right here is vr.vex.com. So you could go directly to that website if you wanted to. And it should bring you pretty much straight into this, which is a, a browser uh, where we'll do all our stuff. And uh, there's a lot of stuff to do, but it starts with this block, when started. And you can grab stuff like, when started, drive forward, okay. And then, uh, and then let's see what happens. Uh, where do we play it? Right over here. We can play it. And it drives forward, but for how long? It just I think it should just crash into a wall. Let's see. Yep, it just crashed into the wall, and now you see it vibrating, because it doesn't know what to do there. So I never said for how long. So let's see, drive forward for this uh, millimeters, this many millimeters. Uh, we could actually, so we could delete this one right here. And um, by the way, there is stuff right here. You can switch the forward to reverse if you wanted to. Um, I to trash it. Notice what I did. I just literally dragged it back over here somewhere, and it goes away. Um, I can move this around if you need more space. Um, so I'm going to say go forward for 200 millimeters. Let's see how far 200 millimeters is in this game. So let's uh, go play. So it looks like 200 millimeters brings us to one block right here. Uh, so let's try uh, two, four, six, eight. 800 should get here, although it did look like it went a little further than that, but let's see. So we'll go to this spot and go 800. <clears throat> Enter. And then let's push play. And it should bring us to this fourth one. Yep, it did. Okay, so we kind of know how that works. And then uh, what if I want to turn right after that? So um, let's see turn right for 90 degrees. That should make a perfect right. 90 degrees is a perfect right. Let's see here. Notice I clicked it. I did it after I moved forward. So it should move forward, then turn right. But it's not going to go forward now. Forward should be this way now. So let's see. Let's put another forward. Let's go a little further. Let's go 800. Let's go 1,200, 1,200 millimeters. Let's do that. And uh, you could always switch it to inches if you wanted to, by the way, if these numbers are just getting way too big for you. A millimeter is not very far. Let's see. It should go right around here, then make a right. Then it should go the same distance, about right here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, because I put, I put a further distance. I forgot I put 1,200 this time. Okay, uh, so... Here's um, your task for the day. I want you to, it's going to start here, and I want you to write a code that's going to go all the way here to this end. It's going to make a right, it's going to turn right, then it's going to go forward here. It's going to turn right, go forward here, turn right, and go forward to here, okay? And it just gets you back to where you're beginning. Also, with one caveat here, with one, one more point, it has to be facing, when it's all done, it should be facing the same way as when it started. So notice... Uh, at the very end here, it's going to go down, and then you're going to make a right again, and you're going to go here, and then you're going to stop here, but it needs to face this way. So your last code should be turn right so that it faces upward, okay? So um, your assignment is to take a screenshot of your code. Um, I, you, if you want to do a video, you can, but that's a little harder. So if you want to do that, that's you're welcome to, uh, a video of it moving and submit that, or just the code. I can look at the code and tell whether or not you did it or not as well, okay? And that's it, folks.